Hello, racing fans. This is the Turfway Park Report for day 34 of the Winter Spring Meeting, Thursday, March 11, 2021. Temperature at first post was 58 degrees. The Tapita is fast and eight races on the program. Start things off with race number one, the starting leg of the pick five. Made in Philly and Mayor 30 down to 20 claimers to go a mile. Scratch part of the entry, the one Enchanted Nile, and take out the three Sacred Peace. The favorite, number one, eight, Ya Beauty, for Jerry Jim Gotchian. And they are racing at Turfway. It was an alert beginning for Kinda Blue Kitten, Celestial Spin, also Share My Moon, Flashing Speed, and Sista of War is uh, off the fence at about the two-path. That allows Ruth BG to come on through to take the lead midpoint through the opening turn. So just outside six furlongs to travel, Ruth BG shows the way. Here, Share My Moon ratcheting up the pressure early. Meanwhile, Sista of War takes off that speed hard held from third. Eden, the daughter of Curlin, has worked her way to the fence. She's fourth, only about two and a half off the pace, a length in front of Kinda Blue Kitten, who settles long in fifth. Being towed by her is Celestial Spin, then a link for the back to uh, Ya Beauty at the back of the pack. They Six links would cover the lot up the backside with four and a half furlongs to travel. The first quarter was 24 seconds flat. Share My Moon with an early brush up the backside to uh, take the lead from Ruth BG, who's back into second. Sista of War hovers to the outside in third. Uh, Eden starts to tighten up from fourth from the backfield, closing in Celestial Spin. She just passed Kind of Blue Kitten, and Ya Beauty is working her way up the fence. She's going to need some racing luck. Nowhere to go as a trio of horses in a wall in front of her. The half mile 47 and three. It is Share My Moon, Sista of War, Celestial Spin. Now, Ya Beauty has been taken off the fence. She She's well held by McKee. He's going to have to go wide, but she does have momentum here as they straighten away to the top of the home stretch. And here comes Ya Beauty. Ya Beauty trying to pass Celestial Spin. They're inside the final furlong. Ya Beauty laying in, but is uh, opening up with each and every stride. And Ya Beauty, Ya Beauty, it's graduation day. It's going to win by about five in the end, gathered up. It was Celestial Spin who was second, Eden was third, and then either Assist of War and Share My Moon unofficially in 138. Flat. And it was number one, a Ya Beauty who breaks a maiden with ease here. Was basically gathered up through the stretch and wins comfortably under a hammerlock for trainer Eric Reed and Johnny McKee was up top. The winner returning 680, 420, and 280. Finishing second was the eight Celestial Spin, third number six Eden, and fourth was the four Sista of War. There was an objection. The jockey of the five who finished fifth claimed foul against the four, alleging interference at the top of the stretch, but no change was issued to the order of finish. Again, the results stood as is. Exacta 4260, Trifecta 6980, Superfecta $270.30, running time 138 flat. Tonight's second race, a Philly and Mayor non to claim an event to go six furlongs, take out number six, Distorted Joke. All the early money came in on number one, My Dear Lolita for Brittany Vandenberg. And they're off. For the lead from between horses, Jam and Jet, but there goes My Dear Lolita from that inside straw, hustled on out to the front, and she's built up a two-length lead as they head up the backside. Waterloo Sunset racing in the second position. There's room at the rail for Candy Cream to come on through. And up on the outside, Thea B moves close fourth. Jamin's Jet is next. And a link for the back to sway my way as they continue to run up the backside. And the trailer is Ruby round here. The quarter 22-2. and two. The leader, my dear Lolita, under confident handling by Chris Landero, shows away by two. Thea B uh, comes on up to be a clear-cut second from the backfield, moving into third on the extreme outside that is so long Dixie. Down along the inside, sway my way. Meanwhile, Ruby around here starting to advance from the backfield as they race to the top of the home stretch. My dear Lolita is on cruise control to the top of the lane. Uh, by the furlong ground, she's in front by four. Up the inside, sway my way. Then comes a Thea B down the center track. So long, Dixie. Here, equipment malfunction with the eight Waterloo Sunset. 16th left to go. My dear Lolita. My dear Lolita will win. Hangs on by three parts of Lake. First off the claim for Marsico and Vandenberg. Stops the timer in 111 and four. Number one, my dear Lolita, gate to wire. Pick up her second straight victory here at the track. The daughter of Palace Malice, first off the claim, owned by Jonathan Marsico, trained by Brittany Vandenberg, and Chris Landeros up top. The winner, $460, $4.240 to show. 
Second number three, Sway My Way. Third to seven, Thea B. And fourth to nine, So Long Dixie. Exact to 2280, trifecta 2670, the double 2220, $1 try, $164.60. Running time 111 and 4. Tonight's third race, made in claimers to go 5.5 furlongs, field of 10, the morning line favorite, number 8, Zoodles, for trainer Timmy Gerton. And they're off. Quick start for out on a limb. Flat out broke. Flashing speed. There goes Ronnie Storm uh, up and after the pace as well. Zoodles away in fourth. Now flashing speed. King Chala advancing to the inside. Meanwhile, Sardonic Smiles racing mid-flight as they head up the backside. Then uh, his stable mate, Platinum Mac, to the outside. Still two back to Raising Dreams and four or five back to Kobe Beach. And with it, Walter at the back of the pack. Flat out broke. Free Willen on the front end at 42 to 1. Shows the way by by a length and a half. Out on a limb to the outside of Ronnie Storm now. Zoodles cut loose to the outside and right on his back. Platinum back. Here comes the favorites up and after the long shot leader. It is out on a limb. Zoodles to the outside. Here comes Zoodles to the outside of out on a limb as they straighten away to the top of the home stretch. Platinum Mac is third from the backfield. Wilt it. Walter has found his feet and up the inside. Raising dreams at a big number as all of a sudden Zoodles takes over the lead. Zoodles on the wrong lead by the furlong grounds but he's widening with each and every stride and zoodles it's graduation day zoodles wins by about three and a half in the end going away in 106 and two number eight zoodles gets the job done breaks made here and start number nine for tim girton mark marzico and pete mcgee trained by timmy girton frank reyes along for the ride 563 62 80 second number six out on a limb third number four raising dreams fourth and nine kobe beach Exact to $61. Try $639.40. The double was $13. Dime Super, $256.46. The pick three, $18.85. Running time, 106 and 2. Tonight's fourth race, Phillies and Mares. Travel six and a half furlong. Scratch the eight rollover risk. Number four, Helga Schmelga is a three to one morning line favorite. And they are racing. Slow start for Skip and a hop. Quick start for the favorite Helga Schmago, who barrels on out. She'll have company Magna G-Force to the outside and a three-wide Malist. And behind that trio, American kisses away into fourth position. Up to the outside, Classy Lynn is next. And a link for the back. Rather be lucky than good on the turn back. Perfectly placed, about four and a half links off those leaders. Honor Bar closing into the inside of her, then still four or five back to three birds. And at the back of the pack, skip and hop up the backside to go. The quarter was 23 and two. Three and one half furlongs to go. Into the far turn. Malice, under confident handling, shows the way from Magna G Force to the inside. Classy Lynn hovering to the outside in third. Uh, then comes American Kisses, who races to the inside of Helga Schmelga at 3-2. to two. She's fifth, has five links to raise, and all of a sudden, rather be lucky than good's coming under a ride. Honor Bar is next as they round the turn to the top of the home stretch, and it's Malice. There's room at the fence for Magna G-Force to come on back. Meanwhile, Helga Schmelga's out in the parking lot, but she's closing in with a big, wide, sweeping bid. Uh, here's Magna G-Force backing up after the lead by the furlong grounds. Helga Schmelga has found her feet. She's coming at him and coming on. Helga Schmelga to the outside. Magna G-Force got first run. Helga Schmelga lunging but Magna G-Force would not be denied. Helga Schmelga was wide throughout then lugged in through the lane to be second in 119 flat. Magna G-Force up the rail to win it. Number five, Magna G-Force would not give up. She grinds out the victory here to pick up her third lifetime victory. The winner owned by the Brooklyn Foster Family Racing, trained by Eric Foster and Gerardo Kralis up top. The winner, $925.64. Second was number four, Helga Schmelga. Third number six, Malice. Fourth to ten, Classy Lynn. Exact to $24, Trifecta 87.30, the double 36.40. Superfecta $317.70, pick three $19.85. Running time was 119 flat. Tonight's fifth race, an allowance optional claimer to go six furlongs. Scratch the one, Boa Nova. The favorite on the morning line is number six, Land Battle. Racing for owner, Tom Horan. And they are racing. Slow start for Mighty Angel. 
Quick one, though, for wild behavior. Boom, five fat thousand, and there goes Joyful Heart underneath. Joyful Heart on through to take the lead. Here comes Mighty Angel off the shelf to flash speed to the inside of wild behavior. Boom, five thousand tracking from fourth. Land battle advancing to the inside of hats off to you. That'll link for the back. Better watch out is next as they head up the backside. Aggressivity racing mid flight a length in front of Vivid Verse. Then comes Chase and Charlie, and at the back of the pack is Majestic Valley. Into the far turn, three furlongs from the money, chasing Joyful Heart at a big number. Wild behavior to the outside as boom, 5,000 looms large from third. Uh, Mighty Angel made an early move, but is backpedaling now from the backfield. Here comes Secretary at War, lunging up on the four wide side to the top of a home stretch. Wild behavior to the outside of Joyful Heart, a three wide bid from boom, 5,000. Uh, Secretary at War on the extreme outside, many chances in the final furlong as Wild Behavior ratcheted up the pressure on. On Joyful Heart to the outside. Boom, 5,000. Vivid versus getting rolling, but getting rolling at the right time. Uh, Vivid verse. I think got up in a photo finish here. The running time was quick. In fact, on the board, there it is, 109. And to photo finish, Vivid verse to the outside. Wild behavior to the inside. Noses up and down on the wire. Number 12, Vivid Verse, rallies down the center to get up in time here for the RSR Racing Services, trained by Brittany Vandenberg. That's her second win on the night, also two for Gerardo Corrales. Vivid Verse, now a perfect three for three here at Turfway. Three straight wins as he takes the fifth race in a quick time of 109 and two. Finishing second was number eight, Wild Behavior. Third, the 11, boom, 5,000. Fourth, the 1A Secretary at War. Now the winner, Returns at 460, 360, and three dollars. Exact to 5640. Try 196, 10. The double 41 dollars. The super 172 dollars 27 cents. Pick three 22 dollars 85 cents. Pick four 66 dollars 75 cents. Pick five 174 dollars. Tonight's sixth race, a claimant event to go a mile, take out the eight. That quality that leaves number seven, no salt, as the morning line favorite for Wesley Ward. And they're off. Good start for Commissario, also quick into stride. Samson Lee, as expected, is flashing speed. And Samson Lee will cross in clear as they enter the first turn. No salt away in the second position. Commissario to the outside of Darby Darth there, third and fourth. Then a link for the back four castles, a link in front of the pair of criminal defense and Don West. And at the back of the pack early, respect the boss, is last of the octet. Up the backside they go with five and a half furlongs to go. Samson Lee, the pace setter, took him through the quarter quick, 24 seconds flat. No salt. We'll take in proceedings from second. Commissario, the long shot to the outside of that one, right on his flank from third. Darby Dart is fourth. Only about three and a half links would cover the top quartet. Three links for the back. Four Castle is fifth. And a link for the back. Criminal Defense is three in front of the late running Dawn West. And no twist in the plot. Respect the boss is last three furlongs to go. Half mile 48. Seconds flat. Samson Lee, still in front, shows the way by a link. No Salt now moves a closer second. Commissario just got passed by Darby Dart, who's lunging up the inside. Also gaining ground, Fort Castle is on the move. Fort Castle has raced up into fourth as they race around the turn to the top of the home stretch. And Samson Lee and No Salt, these two will whip them in. Samson Lee to the inside. No Salt ratcheting up the pressure. Darby Dart's back into third. Fort Castle is gaining ground to the outside from the backfield. Criminal defense and late on the scene, Dawn West has kicked it into gear. One sixteenth left. No salt is driving on a two length lead. Here comes Forecastle up into second, but no salt's going to win for LRE Racing by about three and a half in the end. Forecastle was second, then came Criminal Defense and Don West in one thirty seven and two. Number seven, No Salt rallies from just off the pace setter to win here to pick up his second lifetime victory. The winner owned by the LRE Racing, trained by Wesley Ward and ridden to victory by Deshaun Parker. $380, $3, $240 on the winner. Second, number one, four Castle. Third, the two Criminal Defense. And fourth, the six Samson Lee. Exacto was worth $32. Trifecta, $54.90. The double was $11.60. The dime, Super, $19.18. Pick three, $11.45. Running time, one thirty-seven and two. Tonight's seventh race, a claimant event for horses who have never won three lifetime. 30 down to 20, the claimant tag, the distance one mile. Scratch the five, topping the favorite number seven, Speedy Hans, will be carrying the hot pink and black silks of owner Gary Barber. And they are off to a level beginning.
Osage Moon hard hustled out to show speed. Bugle Berry will track from second. El Pekin is third. Speedy Hans tucking in there just a little bit from fourth to the inside. Surf and turf away in the fifth position. The two back markers tallest of the tall and YY, Paul Y. Compact field here as they race around the turn with six furlongs to go. And Osage Moon shows the way by just about a length. El Pekin, the big long shot, will track from second. Bugleberry at six to five away in third. Uh, then up on the outside, advancing with an early backstretch move. There goes YY Paul Y. Speedy Hans and Landeros racing in fifth, just about five lengths off the lead. Then comes Surf and Turf second last. And Tallis of the Tall will have to pass them all in Florence, y'all. The quarter 23 and four. The leader, Osage Moon, passed the half mile pole the lead is two lengths half mile time up on the board 47 and two quick fractions being set by osage moon shows the way by three lengths here's speedy hans who comes on through to the inside of bugleberry and the two uh, favorites move in tandem in the far turn uh, yy paul y is fourth from the backfield tallest of the tall is underway as a race around the turn whip comes out on pace setting osage moon uh, speedy hans is going to get a rail run bugleberry is going to have to go around the pace setters as they straight away to the top of the home stretch Osage Moon uh, still there, but here's Speedy Hans cut loose to the outside. Bugleberry's third. Uh, tallest of the tallest running a big one down the stand side from fourth. One sixteenth left. Osage Moon is still finding resilient. Osage Moon just kept on going. Gate to wire. Osage Moon turns the ball back here to pick up the third lifetime victory in 136 and four. Number two, Osage Moon would not give up. Set some fast fraction, just kept on running. The winner owned by Frank Mayfield Jr., trained by Robeck, J.D. Ramos up top. The winner, 28, 20, 13, 40, and 420. Second was number three, tallest of the tall. Third, number seven, Speedy Hans. And fourth, the one, Surf and Turf. Exact one at 6580, trifecta 37960. The double, 3880. The super, $120.55. Pick three, 33 $33.70. Tonight's eighth race, made in Philly and Mayor five claimers to go six and a half furlong. Scratch number four, Music City Wolf. The favorite on the morning line, number eight, Lucky Lizzie, looking to give the owner and trainer their second victories on the card, and Gerardo Corrales in search of his third tonight. And they're off. Good start for Cross the Line. Quick start for Dimples of Venus. And from between horses, there goes Lucky Lizzie. Lucky Lizzie up to the outside is Defender of Faith. As they head out of the chute and up the backside, it's Dimples of Venus at a big number, shows the way. The favorite Lucky Lizzie slides on through underneath to take the lead now. As Defender of Faith backs off from third, a length and a half to cross the line, a big long shot from fourth to in front of Amarin. Then a length like that further back as they continue to run up the backside. It is Molly's Melody. Ronan is on the move as well as they race into the turn. Dinah Power has about 12 lengths to raise the quarter, 22 and 3. Lucky Lizzie, the daughter of Alpha, shows the way by just about a length and a half. Defender of Faith is second. Big long shot. Cross the line moves a closer third. That's all for Dimples of Venus from the backfield. Dinah Power continues to catch the eye. Parked way out wise as they turn on down for the money. And it's Lucky Lizzie, the big favorite, the one to reel in. Cross the line, a long shot. She has a chance down the center of the track. Here comes Dinah Power. Dinah Power really exploding through the stretch. But it is Lucky Lizzie who's built up a two-length lead. Dinah Power has raced up to the outside of her. It's going to get tight here. Dinah Power edging by. Dinah Power, another win for Robeck and J.D. Ramos. They win going away, running down pace setting favorite on the line in 119 flat. And number one, Dinah Power, left alone on the tote board, comes in from Tampa and gets the job done to a tune of 25 to 1. For owner Andy Stronach, trainer Rowena Beck gets her second on the night, as does jockey Joe Ramos. Dinah Power breaks the maiden here and as the upset winner. Gets it done. Finishing second, number eight, Lucky Lizzie. Third, the six, Ronan. Fourth, number 11, crossed the line. And fifth was the three, many more promises. Exact to 204, even try 362.90. The double, 433.40. Dime Super, $510.60. Pick three was over $338. The pick four, $1,263.50. Pick six, multiple winners. Each of those get... $5,612 and change. The high five was solved, $7,789.20. And the single six will carry as well over $49,000. Well, that wraps up this Thursday edition of Racing from Turfway Park. From all of us here at the track, thanks for tuning in. This has been the Turfway Park Report. <laughs>